This is part 50 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the performance aspect of cascading values. If we take a look at the example we've been working with, we're cascading two values, style and border style. To demonstrate something called active monitoring and performance aspect of cascading values, let me add another property, counter. This is an integer property and initialized with a value of zero. Let me add a private method as well. Increment counter. Every time this method is called, the counter value is increased by one. And just above this h1 element here, let me include a button and the text on the button is increment counter and the event handler for this button is the increment counter that we have right here. So every time we click this button, the counter value is incremented by one. And let's display this counter value next to the parent component text right here. Let's also cascade this counter value down the component tree. For that, we need another instance of the built-in cascading value component. We named this cascading value counter. So using this name, we should be able to access the counter value in the child component. So for that, in the child component, we need another cascading parameter. Notice we are using that same name counter. Let's display the counter value next to the child component text right here. Let's do the same even in the grandchild component. First, the cascading parameter and then let's display the counter value. Save all our changes and let's take a look at the browser. On the initial page load, the counter value is zero and every time we click this button, the counter value is incremented and the updated value is reflected across all the three components. Now, the built-in cascading value component has a Boolean property called is fixed and the default value of this property is false. Let me set this to true and see the behavior we get. The initial counter value is zero and every time we click this button, notice the counter value is incremented in the parent component, but the child and grandchild components are not updated. Why is that? Well, that's because when we set this is fixed property to true, we're basically telling this counter cascading value is fixed. So Blazor is going to effectively turn off monitoring this cascading value for changes. Even if it is changed in the parent component, it is not going to cascade that change down the component tree. And that is the reason we don't see the value updated both in child and grandchild components. For this example, setting this is fixed property to true does not make sense because when the value changes, we want both the child and grandchild components to be updated. So let's change it to its default value, false. The other two cascading values, that is style and border style, are initially set by the parent component and they never change. So from performance standpoint, it makes sense to turn off active monitoring. So let's set is fixed to true. The default value of this property is false. This means the value that is cascaded down the component tree is constantly monitored by Blazor. When the cascaded value changes, all the components in the entire component tree that use the cascaded value are automatically updated. We have seen this in action just now. However, this constant monitoring requires resources and it is better to turn off this active monitoring when it is not required to avoid performance issues. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.